2002 season. Out of the shotgun, Cripps to his left, fires it downfield, overshoots, picked up, it's Dawes. At the 30, a lot of green in front, 20, 10, Dawes has taken it in for the touchdown. Mike Doss, the two-time All-American, with a 45-yard touchdown, and the Buckeyes are up by two touchdowns. Mean, I see. Ran sideline to sideline, and they like to hit people. This one's picked. It's hard. A lot of green. Penalty flag down, but Hawk's going to take it in for the touchdown. Penalty marker back at the 32-yard line. Linebacker A.J. Hawk flies into the end zone. You're watching Big Ten football from ESPN+. Plus. Mills rolls to the left. Fires intercepted at the 39-yard line. Picked off by Gamble. Chris Gamble, touchdown on the interception. Hello, Charles Woodson. Now give me the ball on offense. And look at that patience. Ohio State is in a deep zone. Remember, an extra week of practice. And watch Gamble sitting right there in the middle. Comes back, reads the eyes, and this is what's beautiful. Great athletes glide and move and turn. We've got an injured bucket. But then what will turn out to be the play of the game, Dugalecki tries to force the slant. It's tipped and batted up into the air. Will Allen gets it and takes it all the way down the sideline. Officially, a 100-yard interception return for touchdown, the longest in Ohio State in history. Buckeyes up 10 seconds. Down at seven. Orton's in trouble. Lost it all. Ohio State's got it. Touchdown. Because they've been doing it all day long. When you're backed up, you got to protect the football. Smith and Anderson, the two guys that collide and force the fumble. And Mike didn't have to go far. And Bob McGrath right here. Right here. Watch Smith as he gets in around Butler. You see the great pressure by the defense for the fire Kudla. I take this football, put it over the bench, and then walk right over to the punter who nailed the punt inside the five-yard line and Good say, boy. thank you for the field position. Yep, you're right. Now both Anderson and Smith putting pressure. 135 yards for Tony Hunt. Now it's Morelli. Lofting one. Intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. Jenkins going the other way down the sideline. Ohio State might get a touchdown. They do. Trying to hit the tight end right here. He's trying to hit him on an out, and he's looking at him only. He didn't pick up the corner who fell off. Jenkins saw it the whole way. You know, these are just things that young quarterbacks have to experience and go through. They're, in, they're reviewing this. And he stayed in bounds. To they see don't if need he to, stepped on the line. He didn't. Yes. Not even close. And a 61 yard interception return by Malcolm Jenkins for the touchdown. Jenkins, a sophomore. And look at the eyes. And look at the run back and look at the balance and the footwork to stay in bounds. You know, just one little coaching point that you really like when you look at a defensive back. Did you watch him go up and take this thing at the high point? Yep. He didn't wait on the ball to come down. He went up and got it. The strength of this Penn State offense. Second and seven. Morelli again throws the slant. This one's intercepted. Antonio Smith. Goodbye. Antonio Smith will coast for a touchdown. I just stick another one in there. And when you see Antonio Smith, watch him. He just reads quarterback's eyes, catches the ball, it's over. He says, Malcolm, anything you can do, I can do six yards shorter. 55 <laughs> yards for the touchdown. For the touchdown, and here's another look. Beautiful play on the ball. You're watching ESPN on ABC, and you're watching the top-ranked Buckeyes beating Penn State 28-6. Yeah, loss of two there, and you take back over, but uh, give it up and put Northwestern back on offense, and the guy's reading plays very well. Well, Brandon Mitchell's a smart football player, and he kind of baited him there a little bit, and he got into the end zone. And you can go other places to recruit. On second and three, quick pass, intercepted. Donald Washington down the sideline. Edelman's the only one that's got a chance. He won't get him. Ball out there in the flat, unless they're way back off you. That's going to happen. 
Washington 72 yards on the interception. Bad throw for a pick. And it's a pick six. Pressure from Morelli's right side drives right back into his face. He steps back as he's literally throwing the football. Cousins. Looking right, look, look out. out, down he goes from behind, it's Jenkins, the ball is out, going the other way, Thaddeus Gibson might take it the distance, and does, touchdown, Ohio State. He's up and bump, Gibson is there, but so is Jenkins, when you come from behind the quarterback, they, they all knock it loose nowadays, they all want to shake the ball loose from the quarterback, they did a great job. Well, the one thing, too, is that Ringer, Ringer is getting a block, but there were two guys coming. He can only take one. Here's the ball out. 69 yards, Gibson took it. Ringer was desperately trying to get there, but Jenkins, the guy that forced the fumble, got in his path. Uh, when we were together at, uh, at Ohio State in Youngstown State, he says 20, it's about 25 years they've known each other. This ball is picked up. And down the sideline goes Jermail Hines. See the throw on Cousins to the outside and complete there to White. And then he's hit, and before his knee was able to hit, was picked up by Jermail Hines, and he just cruises down the sideline. Needed one block and got it. And Dobbs to throw, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Roll. He can return it for two points. Being chased by Dobbs. Dobbs not going to catch him. It's two for the Buckeyes. I don't like the call. You, you're taking it. You're, the weak, you're, you're asking your little quarterback to, to throw a, a pass in the secondary when all these little guys, all these Buccaneers, all these guys are back there. Scoring offense in the Big Ten, starting to find its rhythm. On possession, number three, Tolzien throws it away. Hit as he threw it, and it's an interception for Kurt Coleman. Still in bounds. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Ohio State. Decent protection in here initially. Now you're going to watch this. You're going to try to find right here, the middle of the field. And now, and just as he's ready to throw, he does get a hit, and the ball comes off high. And Coleman's there and just picks the thing up, and it's down the right side. It's a good job of Convoy. Watch, here comes the pressure right there, right at the end. And the ball comes off too high. Now, transition right here. You go from defense right to, to offense. Now, you have to just become a good blocking team, and that's what the defense does. Coleman down the right sideline for six. Tolzien, and it is batted and intercepted. Great play by Jermail Hines inside the five and into the end zone. Jermail Hines. The catch and the return, officially 32 yards on the run back. 21-10 Ohio State. At the quarterback side. Now he comes off the middle of the field right away, and his eyes are downfield the whole way. He's looking and telegraphing this throw completely. And that's what Jamel sees on the backside right there. See that? That is well done. He called the eyes the whole time. Jamel Hines just follows it, gets him to the ball, knocks it down. And makes In 10, for New Mexico to say fumble the ball. And it goes into the end zone, and Ohio State, it looks as though they may have fallen on top of it. Touchdown! When uh, Jim Haycock, the defensive coordinator, was talking about these two guys, and he says, you know, they've been playing behind Marcus Freeman and James Lauren. These guys are hungry. Inside the pocket. When he's inside, he rushes himself. Like he's in the pocket, right here. he's in trouble. He dropped the ball in the end zone. Free at the goal line. And it looks like Cameron Hayward has it for an Ohio State touchdown. Well, but I, the one thing I do know is he loses his patience inside and he starts to pull his eyes down like you see right there And he's not very good with ball security Oh, oh man Loose ball picked up by Ohio State the Buckeyes are gonna get a defensive touchdown John's late after the snap then comes and, and you know Weber just didn't see him, didn't yeah. feel it, had no idea that the play action. Oh, that's a pick six. 
Devon Torrance, who'd been picked on all the blitz. They rush three. Back goes McGloin. A lot of time. Throws. Intercepted Howard 30. 25 20. Howard to the 15. 10 5. Touchdown. Martinez. Throws and it's intercepted down the sideline by Roby. Roby to the end zone. Touchdown. I think it affected Taylor Martinez. He felt Hankins bearing out on him. Didn't get enough on the outside on that throw. And Roby, for the second week in a row, a huge moment. In his own end zone, McGloin intercepted. Inside the 20. Shazier touchdown. Out. He does a good job of dropping to the sticks, not jumping anything underneath, getting depth, reading the eyes of the quarterback, breaking on the ball, finishing the play by catching it, and scoring. His first career interception, and he brings it back for a score, 17 yards. In passing, they're a better offensive team this year. Shieldhouse gets hit. His tip, his pass is tipped and picked off by Roby. Roby cuts it back. Roby will take it in. A pick six. They had a crossing route underneath. That's a man beater. He throws it out in front. Tip ball is always an opportunity for an interception. And Bradley Roby, pretty good with the ball. Perfect call on with crossing routes against man coverage. That's what you want. Problem is, it's not man. It's zone. And now the linebackers are going to drive on those crossing routes. The receiver stops because he sees zone, not on the same page with the quarterback. Shieldhouse thinks he's going to keep going, and that's the confusion that deep. Opening drive, third quarter. Reynolds, whoa, picked down the other way. Watch out. No one can catch him. Deron Lee, touchdown, Buckeye. Third and short, get a double team, Ooh, yes. and that's a first down. And once that mistake is made, it gets complicated because the Ohio State defense is aligned to the outside, and then one thing leads to another. Joey Boza makes a great play on Keenan Reynolds, and Ohio State turns the game. Remember, biggest play of the game, coach said to Alley, Ohio State made the play. For Maryland Athletics, that was their women's field hockey team yesterday, their first Big Ten home game. A deflected pass, an interception, and a touchdown for Raquan McMillan. Spot. 19-yard return of the interception. The first of his Ohio State career. Good catch by Jadarian Grant. And the ball comes out as he hit the ground. And it's a touchdown to the Ohio State defense scored by Eli Apple. Season. Here comes a blitz. It's picked up. Gardner, though, is wrapped up by Bosa. The ball's out. Darren Lee's got it for Ohio State. Going for the exclamation point. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Game long. Gets a hand on the football, and then Lee, the true freshman, the beneficiary, picks it up, and that's a microcosm of Michigan season all year long. Gordon. And Gordon lost it. Bosa, touchdown, Buckeyes. Blood thirsty. Sims, quick throw, intercepted. Picked off by Steve Miller. Miller, defensive lineman, dream. Touchdown. Game. Ohio State is going to rush linebackers here. This is Steve Miller right here. He is going to drop into zone coverage and be right in the throwing lane in front of Amari Cooper. Ohio State guessed perfectly on that third down play. And not only do they get the interception, they do one better. They get the touchdown. Looked like a tight end number 88. Brand like a tight end once he got. On second down. On the turf at the 24 yard line, still loose, scooped up, bouncing into the end zone, touchdown against the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. The fumbled exchange pops out. Darren Lee almost had it. Von Bell finished it for the Buckeyes. 
he's he's dropping to. Well, you have just given Northern Illinois one chance after another. Now Ohio State with Darren Lee. Touchdown. Trying to set up the pass to the outside. Lee dip, dips directly underneath Desroy Maxwell, the guy out there blocking him. But right there, that angle as he ran away from one of the fastest players was really impressive. This guy out in space. Whew. It's a great defensive play, but I don't think that's a throw that Hare can make either. and go find the screener and that's what Washington does he's double teamed initially and then he sniffs it out and looks for the football two guy Leidner got drilled as he threw and it's intercepted going the other way Von Bell touchdown it's in single coverage he gets a quick pick at the quarterback and then slips right inside to make the interception a huge play by the Ohio State defense. And on third down, on the roll, tipped and intercepted with room to run up the sideline and nobody gonna get in the way. All the way in for six. And it's Rajay Burns. So takes over after the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty by the coach, it's an interception. It's Hooker to the house. Touchdown Buckeyes. Evans. Throws another interception. It's Lattimore again. Inside the 20. Inside the 10. Lattimore. Touchdown, Ohio State. Ball's wet. It's slippery. Look how wobbly it is coming out of his hand. Dane Evans. He's a senior. He's played in a million games. All you have to do is take your medicine, go in at the half. You're down 10. Look at the ball. I mean, it's raining sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to throw. It's Forrest Gump rain. Rain just coming up from the ground. I mean, th that's inexcusable. To force a football like that into good coverage. In weather like this, in wind like this. It's not like Dane Evans is starting his first game. He's a senior. He's got to be smarter. Well, fourth and three. Mayfield. That ball deflected at the line of scrimmage and picked off. Ohio State. Huge turnover. Jerome Baker down the sideline. The Ohio State Buckeyes. Position. He gets way upfield, unblocked, and does the exact right thing. Hand in the face of Baker Mayfield, and then the opportunistic nature for Ohio State shows up again. Jerome Baker ends up in the end. Armstrong. That play was messed up from the start. It's picked off. Damon Webb's got it. Webb heading for the end zone. Cuts it back. And a pick six. You got a chance. You got to get the ball out with Ohio State's pass. Look at Raquan McMillan right there. He gets his right hand up. He may have influenced it as, as well as Mar Marshawn Lattimore, the corner. And of course, Webb is there to find the football. And he's opportunistic. Watch Raquan McMillan here. Watch him get his hand on this. Does he touch the ball? He sure does. That obviously impacted it didn't allow the receiver to come up with it ball goes straight in the air and in the middle of the field when the ball goes up into the air that's no man's plan and the defense is going to jump on it morgan really never had a chance to make a play on the football because of the tip there by raekwon mcmillan he's the progressive pylon cam armstrong whiffing on the tackle webb a tremendous athlete set of jukes him arms thumping morgan today and they throw it up, and it is intercepted. On the far side, Hooker weaving his way. Malik Hooker followed with his blocks like a running back. What an effort. Pick six, number two tonight for Ohio State. And number six for the season. Six house calls for this defense after interceptions. A tremendous watch, talent. Watch Denzel Ward right there, the tip. That gave him the opportunity. So it's Hooker that gets the pick. Great job by Ward. Watch this effort right here by Denzel. Look how long Ward is. Skied. I mean, he got up in the air, and the presence and the awareness there by Malik Hooker, who takes his back, has such a good feel as a runner in the open field. Great job by Ward. 5'10", 185 pounds, but Hooker now his second interception return. In his end zone, they fake it to him. Spate 
Gets the throw away. Intercepted. And another pick six for the Ohio State defense. Malik Hooker just walks in. Interception for a touchdown. Seventh for Ohio State this year. And again, we talked at the beginning. Special teams. Horton Schlager. Knocked out of his hands. Loose ball. Ohio State picks it up. Heads into the end zone. Touchdown, Jerome Baker. Almost certainly his last game. And the Nittany Lion uniform, there's an interception. Damon Webb, pick six of Sam Darnold. Prince Savvy, safety leads his team in picks, and look at him post now. Sometimes when you fake like that, it just takes your eyes off momentarily. Right, and that's why you have got to see on those throws, you've got to see Deontay Burnett is going to run this slant route, and he's got to fight. Ultimately, the quarterback signs check. It's on you. It's on your interception column. But if you're Deontay Burnett, you have got to do what you can to fight across the face of that safety. It's going to be your ball or nobody's ball. That falls on Sam Darnold. That's a critical error that is his.